Nicole Scott here for Netbook News, and here we are in Sinchu, Taiwan at the eTree campus. eTree is actually a government sponsored organization that's been around since 1973. Now, they are basically about innovation. So, all eTree does is they innovate. And sometimes when I see some of their stuff at the conferences, I think they're innovating just to innovate. But it's still really cool. So, this is actually uh, one of the, this, this is their award section. So, all of these. Uh, Oh, doodads and gizmos in here have actually won awards. Uh, this one actually has been featured uh, pretty heavily since about, uh, when is that? 2009? So this is actually a flexible speaker. Let me hit play. There we go. Check this out. So this is a paper flexible speaker. We could uh, put this into wallpaper. We could put this into our houses, we can put this anywhere. I mean, it's really neat. Look at the bottom. You can actually roll it up and take it with you, which is pretty cool. But, but, we could, oh, and we could, we could cut it. We could cut it up and it would still work. But the cool thing is, is that I've actually heard that e is working on a transparent one. Wouldn't that be neat? Ah. So let's crank up the... Turn that off and keep on going. <laughs> so here we are, we have another film, but this one is actually for flexible display. Now we've seen this before, uh, it's not entirely new, this obviously isn't a working sample, but what's neat about uh, this process and why they've won this 2010 award is the process for how they made this flexible display. Now usually when you'd make a, a display, you have glass and then you have your, um, your film that you put on top, and you put up a couple of films, and then you need to remove the films away from the glass. Now, what generally happens is we run into a problem. They actually have a video here. Maybe we'll get lucky enough to show it. Um, they, 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 when, they, when they pull the film off the glass, the glass couldn't get damaged, and the film can actually get damaged because the film can actually stick to the glass, and it doesn't come off perfectly. Now, they've actually created a debonding material. See, there's an example of it there. So some of it will actually stay on the glass and they have to put it in the garbage. What a great little video. So now they have it probably with the debonding material. So when they pull the film off, well, imagine the debonding materials there. They can pull the film off and then they can actually save a lot of money and create this without having all of the excess waste, which will drive the price down of our tablets and smartphones and e-readers in the future. Because the most expensive component that we find in our gadgets is the display. So this has been licensed and we should be seeing it roll out soon. We hope to see the savings of this soon. Now there's some more really cool stuff around the corner. So why don't we go and check that out? And over here we've got something really neat. This is CHLCD e-paper. So it's actually it's called cholesteric because it's kind of like the cholesterol in our blood, the way or in our, in our bodies, the way that this kind of disperses the ink on the paper. Now this is really thin. Like if you take a look at that, that is super, super, super thin. So this like this is like I'd say half. It's I think it's about half as thick as traditional e-paper. Now this is bi-stable. Usually e-paper you'd have to you'd have to be plugged in and powered in order to get an image. So this is actually it has tremendous power savings for the fact that it's bi-stable. So imagine in digital signage in something like this, right? This this can actually be three meters long. This is the long this is, this is the longest e-paper that's able to be printed at the moment. So imagine this three meter long um, digital sign, and then it only takes a small amount of power to change it and it doesn't need hard to maintain it. So that's actually really interesting. They actually have a working sample back over here, and it's a clock. So there we go. And this is also very thin. It's a little bit thicker than this one, only because it has a back, <laughs> but uh, also a very, very neat idea. So this is CHLCDE paper. So it's another one of these really neat things I'm gonna be looking into a little bit later. But this is what I'm super excited about. Okay, guys, this is USB 3. This is very small, and this says 16 gigabyte. Yeah, you might get excited about that, but until I tell you, this is a minimum of 16 gigabytes with this type of technology, and a maximum of two terabytes. So this could be two terabytes. Incredible. Now if we check out the back, it actually says Transcend there, and it's got the, uh, the eTree logo, but it says Transcend, and this could be a two gig. 
two, oh, sorry, two terabyte, a two terabyte um, flash drive. So imagine that going into your, your tablet. Unbelievable. Uh, no word, uh, USB 3 hasn't uh, actually changed their international standard or hasn't, hasn't actually um, finalized their international standard. That's why we don't actually have this technology out right now. So we're actually waiting on the USB Association for that. So that's been a quick look at some of the products that we've seen here at eTree and Senshu. E-Tree's been open around 30 years, and we've seen 162 startups be incubated by this amazing research institute that's funded by the Taiwanese government. I can't wait to see what they've got in the future, and well, every time I see them at the trade show, I know I'm going to see something cool. I have my fingers crossed that it's going to be the transparent, flexible speaker. Because wouldn't that be cool? A transparent wallpaper speaker? Oh, neat. Anyways, expand your horizons and think of some of the things that E-Tree might come up with next. I'm Nicole Scott from Netbook News, down here in Taiwan.